Good morning, this is Dan with Jumu Research. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to create hybrid maps using Google Earth. We're also going to overlay BLM land ownership, and if time permits, we will add some Colorado-specific hunting data. So our first task this morning is going to be uh, add topographical data so that we can work on our hybrid map. To do that, go up here and click on Add. Then we're going to click on Image Overlay. We're going to call this guy Topo Maps, and we're actually going to use Terra Server. I have a different name now, but that's how it is. Click on Refresh, and then click on WMS Parameters. Go down and pick a server, drop it down, and we are looking for Terra Server, if I can find it in here. There it is. Right, it's going to go ahead and grab the layers that are available. And we're actually just going to grab the top one here. Oh, oh we don't we want the digital raster graphics. These are actually the top of maps. So we're going to top, grab the top one here. We're going to add that to our map. Click OK. We're going to change this view bounding scale. See how it only covers about three quarters of the screen. If we change this to one, it will actually fill the whole screen up, but the screen resolution or the map resolution isn't quite as good. So the next thing we're going to do is up here in at the end of the link URL, we want to re-aspect, re-as, aspect, too many A's in there, act equals true. All right, now if it needs to reshape based on the area then um, it will. Alright, so now we have our topographical. I'm going to double click on my previously created waypoint. And then while this refreshes I want to point out some things you need to have on or you should have on. One, have the terrain turned on. That will give you your 3D when we actually go to looking at this in a tilted mode. You probably want to have roads on there and some borders and labels. Now you can turn these on and off as you need. All right, so back to our topographical map. Now we're going to actually turn on the hybrid portion of it. You can see the map quality isn't that great, but it's good enough for map scanning to get you started. Um, so now we're going to change the transparency. Click on the tab here and just drag it to the left. That'll make it more and more transparent. And there's your hybrid map. Um, if we look at this actually you can see that they took this photo the image uh, looks like it occurred in November so there's some snug. Alright so we're going to go about 50% or so and that's how you can do your hybrid map. So now we're going to try to look at this area in 3D after checking a couple of key points out. One you have a, a saddle here, you have a mountain, you have a mountain, you have a saddle with a small pond, we have some north lying terrain up in here. You have an open area that could be a park, a small lake. You have a bench right here that could be of interest to you. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at tilting the map a bit. To tilt your map, you want to click on your shift button, your left mouse button, and then using your wheel mouse, just tilt. You can wheel it up or wheel it down. All right, we'll zoom in just a touch. Now, now that we've tilted this, you can actually see some of these saddles and some of these areas as you might see it on the ground. Um, I'm actually going to turn off this top graphical just to speed it up a little bit. And I'm going to turn. You can kind of see the, the saddle right here that I pointed out a little bit ago. And then that north facing area. So if you want to turn your map even more, just hold your left mouse button down the shift key and then you can just kind of rotate left to right. All right. So increase the tilt a bit. So you can see here's the saddle looks like a saddle and then um, if we move to the other side of the canyon here she can turn this oh, wrong way. I'll show you some other stuff in here. Where'd my map go? There it is. So we're going to 
move that in a little bit. Okay. So here's that saddle that we looked at from the other. So we looked at it from over here and we saw that saddle. So now our saddle's right here. You can go ahead and move your mouse in or pull your mapping closer. You can actually see a little trail down here if we get a little bit closer right along this edge. But there's a trail up in here. And then here's like a small, small bench here. We have that small bench right here. So return to your straight up and down north facing and looking straight down at the map. Just hit the letter R and it will reset everything back to how it should be. 